Hello, and a very pleasant good day to you wherever you may be. Welcome to this special Cooperstown Bound episode where today Gabriel is going to give us his updated 2020 playoffs. We are, believe it or not, almost halfway through the season already. Most teams only have a couple games to go before they get to the halfway point of the season. Unless, of course, you're the uh, the Miami Marlins or the St. Louis Cardinals who have only played about a quarter of their and games. And now the New York point. Mets. And now the New York Mets who are unfortunately missing games due to uh, COVID amongst their players. But Gabriel, take it away. Here is our updated 2020 playoffs. So there are, is a new playoff bracket this year. They added the wild card series, and then they're, they're going to do the normal after that, where they're going to do wild card whenever that goes to the AL and NLDS, and then CS and then World Series. But yeah, wild card series instead of the sudden death wild card uh, one game playoff. It's going to be a best of three series. And also, there's going to be 16 teams that make the playoffs instead of just 12. So let's get into the 2020 updated playoffs. So now the first wild card series is the Minnesota Twins versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Twins number one seed, Blue Jays number uh, eight seed. The Twins are going to win that series pretty easily in two games. And throughout this video, if you hear a little bit of thunder, uh, well, we're filming this in Florida, and it's pretty much pouring out right now because it's August in Florida, and it always rains here. So, yeah, that's probably why you hear thunder. And, yeah, as I was saying, the Minnesota Twins versus Toronto Blue Jays series, I'm going to do these... MVP predictions of the series. I don't know if they're going to do this for the wild card series is too, but I think the MVP of that series is going to be Nelson Cruz. He's having a great season already, although he is injured, I believe. So now the second wild card series is going to be the Houston Astros, the number five seed against the New York Yankees, the number four seed. Uh, excuse me. So the uh, four seed Yankees, I think, are probably going to beat the five seed Astros in three games. They're going to get revenge for what happened in 2017 and 2019. And we all know why the Astros won those series because of, yeah, trash cans. And yeah, I think that's going to be a good wild card series to watch. I think it's going to be super exciting. And the MVP of that series is probably going to be Aaron Judge because he's having a great season already. At one point, he was leading the league in homers by a good solid, like, maybe one or two homers. But now he's injured, which stinks, so he's just like Nelson Cruz. So now let's move on to the third wild card series. Now you can see the winner of the ALDS. Two. So the third wild card series is going to be the uh, the three seed Tampa Bay Rays against the six seed Chicago White Sox. I think the Tampa Bay Rays will win that in three games because yeah, the Rays are awesome and I think their pitching is probably going to dominate the White Sox great hitting. And I think the Rays are going to beat the White Sox by just a little bit because their hitting isn't great. And, but the White Sox pitching isn't all that great either. Like, they have Lucas Giolito and pretty much everyone else. But, yeah, the Rays are going to beat the White Sox in the Wild Card Series. Three uh, games, well, two games to one. And the MVP of that series, I think it's going to be Tyler Glasnow. I think he's going to pitch really well. I think they're going to use him in Game 3. Morton in Game 1, probably either Yarbrough or Snell in Game 2. Then Glasnow in Game 3. I think he's probably going to pitch like six innings and shut out the White Sox. And yeah, Charlie Glasnow, I hope he does well in that series. Now let's move on to the fourth wild card series in the AL. And that's going to be the two-seed Oakland Athletics against the seven-seed Cleveland Indians. And I think the Athletics are going to come out on top. Um, in three games, another uh, pretty exciting series I think is going to happen, and I think the MVP of that series will be Matt Chapman because 
Yeah, Matt Chapman's having a great season so far. I think he had a home run yesterday on August 22nd, uh, his ninth of the year. And he's probably the best defender in baseball with Nolan Arenado and Enrilton Simmons. Yeah, I think the Athletics are going to come out on top. Uh, sorry if you can see the ALDS winner right there in the AL. So now let's move on to the NL. The first wild card series there is going to be the one seed LA Dodgers against the eight seed Cincinnati Reds. I think the Dodgers are going to win that in three games. Bet you were going to expect them to win it in two because they are so, so good this year. And, yeah, the Reds, well, they're probably going to lose because the Dodgers hitting and pitching are just great between their hitting, Cody Bellinger, Moogie Betts, Justin Turner, Corey Seager, who's having a great year. They also have Chris Taylor on the bench, A.J. Pollock, Max Muncy. But, yeah, their their whole team is just great, and their pitching especially, too. Walker Buehler, Clayton Kershaw, Dustin May. And their bullpen with Kenley Jansen, Blake Trinan, and Pedro Baez. Yeah, a lot about the Dodgers because they're just so good. And I think the MVP of that series is going to be Max Muncy. I think Max Muncy is going to hit a couple home runs. And yeah, he's going to pretty much carry the Dodgers in that series. So, now it's the second wild card series. And in the NL and you can uh, see the winner a little bit right there but it's gonna be the San Diego Padres the number five seed against the four seed St. Louis Cardinals I think the Padres are gonna win that series in three games because their hitting is just so good they hit a grand slam in four straight games I believe between Fernando Tatis Jr., Manny Machado, Will Myers, and Eric Hosmer that wasn't really in any order, but those are the four guys who did it. And yeah, they're going to win it in three games. And the MVP of that wild card series will probably be for now Tatis Jr. Because uh, if he keeps it up what's he's, what he's doing right now, he's going to be the MVP of the NL without a doubt. I think he has like 11 homers with 30 RBIs. He's going crazy. So now let's go to the third wild card series in the NL. As you can see, the winner of the NLDS again. Sorry. And as lightning goes off. And now the Chicago Cubs, the two seed. No, the Chicago Cubs, the three seed against the Washington Nationals, six seed. Sorry, I'm a little distracted by all the rain and thunder outside. But I think the Nationals are going to upset the Cubs and the Cubs are going to go down and the Nationals are going to win it in three games. I think um, it's going to be a walk-off to end the series. And I think the hitter who hits the walk-off for the Nationals will be Victor Robles. And I think he'll probably be the MVP of that series. Yeah, so I, I actually kind of hope the Nationals beat the Cubs because I want them to go pretty far in the playoffs. But this is my prediction, so I control them. And now the last wild card series in the AL is going to be the Atlanta Braves, the two seed against the seven seed Arizona Diamondbacks. The Braves are going to dominate that series, I'm pretty sure. They're going to beat the Diamondbacks in two games as uh, Freddie Freeman will be the MVP because Freddie Freeman's awesome and I'm wearing his shirt right now. And Freddie Freeman, yeah. He is best first baseman in baseball. There's just not much competition. MVP of that series, and that's the wild card series. The f final one of the NL. Now for the division series, is we have the, um, the Minnesota Twins against the New York Yankees to start it out in the AL. And I think the, uh, I'm pretty sure... Uh, the Twins are going to win that as in five games. It's going to be a really, really close series. And I think all the games are going to be within two runs of each other. And the MVP of that series will probably be Jake Odorizzi. 
pretty underrated pitcher for the Twins. So now the series between um, the Oakland Athletics and the Tampa Bay Rays, the second ALDS, and I think the Rays are going to win that in five games. I think it's going to be really close, another one of these really close series, and the Rays will be carried by the MVP of that series, who will be Austin Meadows. He's kind of off to a slow start in 2020, but that's probably because he had the coronavirus at the beginning of the year and he came back. But yeah, I hope uh, the Rays can win that series and Austin Meadows can be the MVP. So yeah, that that was a uh, that was pretty close. <laughs> um, now the uh, the division series is in the NL. I think it's going to be the Dodgers versus Padres, and the Dodgers are going to win that in four games. They're going to dominate that series as they're going to win three games to one, and the MVP of that series will be a pitcher this time, and it's going to be Clayton Kershaw, and Clayton Kershaw, yeah, he's he's getting up there in age, but he's not done yet. He's still a great pitcher, and he's going to be the MVP. Now the second and final DS of this video is going to be the Washington Nationals against the Atlanta Braves and that is going to be the Atlanta Braves in three games. I think the Atlanta Braves are going to dominate that series and they're going to sweep the Nationals and the MVP is going to be Marcelo Zuna. A big pickup for the Braves in the offseason. So yeah, there it is. And now the um, CSs, the championship series. And in the AL, it's going to be the... I'm trying to do this carefully so I don't reveal the World Series winners and stuff. And it's going to be... The uh, Tampa Bay Rays versus the Minnesota Twins, and I think the Rays are going to win in six. I mean, sorry, the Twins are going to win in six games. I'm just so used to cheering on the Rays. I hate to see them lose, but I think the Twins' offense is going to overpower their pitching because the Twins' offense, yeah, they're pre they're pretty insane. The MVP of that series, I think that will probably be a Twins hitter by the name of Byron Buxton. I think he's going to have a great series. He's probably going to hit a few triples, hit a home run, and probably steal a bunch of bases as he's one of the fastest guys in baseball. So now, the last um, championship series with the um, Dodgers and Braves, I think the... I think the Dodgers are going to win that series in six games as, uh, yeah, another hitter is probably going to carry them. And that hitter is going to be Corey Seager. He is going off in this postseason. And, I mean, well, I mean, he's going off this season. And I think he has six, seven homers, uh, 20 RBIs. He's doing really well. And yeah, I think the Dodgers are going to win that series in six games, uh, fully helped by their pitching. Now the World Series is going to be the Minnesota Twins versus the LA Dodgers, and the World Champ, the World Series champion of 2020 is going to be the Minnesota Twins. They are going to win the World Series in seven games. I think it's going to be a really tight World Series when the Dodgers win the first two games and then the Twins win the next two, then the Twins win the next one, and then the Dodgers win the next one, and then the Twins win in game seven up by the score of six to two, and that score will be helped. Well, that's that those runs will be driven in mostly by the Minnesota Twins third baseman Josh Donaldson. I think he's going to be the World Series MVP as he's going to have a few homers, a lot of RBIs. He's going to play nicely over there at third base. And, yeah, the Twins are going to win in seven games, fully helped by Jish Donaldson. 
yeah, that's, so there's my postseason updated. Uh, I guess my updated postseason, I should say. Thank you all so much for joining us. As always, please remember to subscribe if you like uh, these videos from Gabriel. And uh, hit the like button as well so that we know that uh, you like the content and you'd like to see more of this kind of thing. Um, some ideas that we have coming up is Gabriel would like to give you his most overrated players. We did an underrated players video a couple weeks ago. Um, and we also may do some uh, updated awards as well. Because Gabriel, uh, in one of his last videos, gave you who he thought were going to be his Cy Young Award winners and MVPs. Uh, things like that so we may do that as well so remember to subscribe and like if you'd like to see more of that content we hope everyone out there is safe and healthy and we will see you all soon thanks so much yeah